this is the Bloomfield Township Election Commission meeting of Thursday, January 25th, 2024. If we could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, our first item on the agenda is public comment. Seeing nobody who wants to speak a public comment, or we'll close public comment. Uh, next item on the agenda, um, by the way, I want to do to confirm attendance. It's not on here, but there's um, a, a quorum present. Um, the three per one person is missing, uh, Val Murray, who could not attend today. Neil Barnett and I, um, two other members, make a quorum. Okay, let's review. The next item is to approve election commission meeting minutes of October 26th. So moved. Support that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And our next item is uh, not a, a voting item, but item three reviews much of the uh, background um, information concerning the upcoming election. It is standard materials in here um, uh, which reflect uh, the, the, the ballot, uh, the voting dates, uh, the deadlines for different uh, items that are coming up for the, the 2024 primary. Legal notices that we have posted in May, uh, which appeared in the newspapers last week and yesterday. Um, any questions, Neil, about the items that are contained in the packet? No. Okay, great. So item number four uh, is to um, appoint the election inspectors. Uh, included is the summary of the inspectors. And uh, I can uh, advise that all of these inspectors have completed their applications. They have all completed a background check uh, as required by the Election Commission concerning um, a criminal background check. Um, and uh, we are, they all are fully legally qualified to be perform their roles as election workers. Um, and Included with the uh, resolution is, of course, the delegation to the clerk, myself, to uh, make adjustments as necessary as people's schedules change and to fill any vacancies that still remain. And the uh, resolution for this purpose is behind item number four. Any questions about that? No. Okay, I'd entertain a motion. So moved. So support that. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, item number five, moving on to, is for the resolution uh, delegating election commission duties to the clerk and authorized assistance for items that uh, may come up during the next couple of weeks as it relates to tasks to prepare for the election. Um, that resolution is also in the packet. Any questions about that? No, I'll make a motion for the passive resolution. Support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, next is item number six. Uh, this is a is, is a new item. Uh, the uh, the law uh, now permits uh, an early absentee voting counting board for the full processing of absentee ballots, which includes the the uh, running them through the tabulator. The tabulator will not be the, you know those the the polls for the absentee voting counting board will not close until election day, um, but for uh, days in advance, uh, we are allowed to um, uh, process, completely process them, run them through the tabulator. Again, the polls can't be physically closed. The computer programs don't permit that to happen until 8 p.m., uh, no sooner than 8 p.m. on election day. Um, and we're looking for authorization. This motion is to authorize the clerk, myself, to uh, operate an early uh, absentee voting counting board for the presidential primary. And we have to do one of these for each election, so we'll, we'll see these going forward every time. Okay. Make a motion that we uh, pass the resolution. Presented. I support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, that's our last item. Any any questions or no? What is an efficient or? meeting? It was. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Um, and I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.